6, the revised bill to help pay for a new Pawsock Stadium is on its way to the full state Senate. A Senate committee just passed it a short time ago. Iowa News News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now live from the State House with an update. Kim? Well, Mike and Shannon, tonight's hearing was originally scheduled for last Thursday, but that big snowstorm we had had other plans. And tonight, the Senate Finance Committee heard some brief testimony before ultimately deciding to pass the bill on to the full Senate. Now, tonight's Senate Finance Committee hearing comes after a fall roadshow of sorts that saw close to 30 hours of public hearings on funding for the team's new Pawtucket Stadium. A new bill was released in the Senate last month, and it tweaked the deal for the $83 million ballpark at the former Apex site. And that amended legislation asks for a additional commitments from the team in exchange for up to $44 million in taxpayer financing. And tonight, the Finance Committee heard from both opponents and proponents of that plan. The Senate Finance Committee chair, a Pawtucket representative himself, was pleased with the final outcome. This project, the ballpark does not pay for itself. As a resident of Pawtucket and as someone deeply committed to the downtown development of the city, I respectfully urge you to vote in favor. It's very important for the state of Rhode Island. It's very important for the city of Pawtucket. It's an opportunity for Rhode Island to say um, that we can invest in our future. We know how to build things, and we're going to make that statement and go forward with this project. And again, the Senate Finance Committee voting overwhelmingly in favor of that amended proposal here tonight. The lone no vote from Republican State Senator Nicholas Kettle. Now, this bill is scheduled to go before the full Senate next Tuesday. The Senate president has already expressed his support for this plan. House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello being a little bit more cautious, saying he wants to see where the residents of the state stand on this plan. Governor Raimondo has urged the General Assembly to take swift action on this proposal. Reporting live at the State House tonight, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.